Junko Furuta was a 17-year-old Japanese teenager was kidnapped by a group of young men. They kept her captive in the house owned by one of their parents. That was the beginning of her 44 days of torture that led to her death. They fed her only cockroaches to eat, only her own urine to drink. Foreign objects inserted into her vagina slash anus including a still-lit light bulb, broken bottles, cigarettes, fireworks. They lit her legs on fire multiple times. There was rape and sodomy every day. She's estimated to have gone through approximate 500 rapes due to her captor's Yakuza ties. She endured constant physical beatings included hits with golf clubs and bashing of face against cement floor. She was beaten to such an extent that her brain was shrinking from the trauma. She lost bowel control after dumbbells were dropped on her stomach while she lay on the floor with hands and feet bound. She was hung from the ceiling and used as boxing bag. On her last day of custody, she begged for them to just kill her. They challenged her to a game of mahjong solitaire and told her if she won they'd let her go. She did win but instead of releasing her they beat her with iron barbells and set her legs, arms, face and stomach alight after pouring lighter fluid on them. She went into shock and died the next day. Her corpse was found stuffed into a concrete-filled barrel on a tract of reclaimed land in Koto, Tokyo.